Hi, my name is Roger. I'm Super Club Spanish translator and a big fan of the game. And this is the third part of my series of videos explaining how to play Super Club. Now we're going to see how the second step of the offseason works. The second step of the off-season is training. It's one of my favorite parts of the game, especially if I have lots of players with several empty stars. It's so rewarding. Okay, so the purpose of training is to have one or more of your players with empty stars and fill those empty stars so that your young players evolve, become better, even superstars. As in every step of the off-season, Manager 1 will go first. In the first off-season, Manager 1 is the one who rolled the highest number at the beginning of the game. From the second season onwards, it's the champion of the previous season. After the first manager has finished their training, you continue clockwise around the table. Ok, so how does training work? In the first off-season, each manager will have the basic training facilities. Just a normal training pitch, giving you the opportunity to fill just one empty star for only one of your players. How can you do that? By first choosing the player you want to develop and then roll one dice. You need to roll at least the number of dots that you want your player to reach. That is, if you have a one star player that you want to develop to two stars, you must roll two or higher. If you have a 2 star player that you want to develop to 3 stars, you must roll 3 or higher, and so on. As you upgrade your training throughout the game, you will be able to develop multiple players by multiple stars every season, but the dice will always decide how much your talents will develop. For instance, say you have invested in your training center in the previous seasons and now you have a nice training center giving you the opportunity to add up to 3 stars to each of 3 player cards. You choose to develop a player card with 2 full stars and 6 star potential. If you roll a 1, nothing happens. Trainable players cannot lose stars, except through a game changer card, so he keeps having 2 stars. If you roll a 2, nothing happens, your player stays exactly as he was. If you roll a 3, your player card is upgraded to 3 stars. If you roll a 4, your player card is upgraded to 4 stars. If you roll a 5, your player card is upgraded to 5 stars. And if you roll a 6, your player card is also upgraded to 5 stars. He cannot be upgraded to 6 since he has 2 stars at the moment and with your training center you can add a maximum of 3 stars to each of 3 players so your 2 star player can reach a maximum of 5 stars this season. However, if you'd had the training complex, the last level of training, your player card would have been maxed out to 6 stars with that one roll of the dice. With this training complex, you can add a maximum of 4 stars to each of 4 players and also one extra star to another player of your choice without even rolling the dice. In this case, you must assign your guaranteed star before you start rolling. There are a number of things that I want to make clear. First of all, in the level 2 of training, you can add 2 stars to each of 2 players. That is, you can add 2 stars to one player and 2 more stars to another player. If you're lucky with the dice, of course, you don't have to split these 2 stars between 2 players. It's the same for levels 3 and 4, 3 stars for each of 3 players, etc. And you cannot train the same player more than once in the same offseason. For example, say I train this guy here and I raise him up to 3 stars, I cannot train him again until the next offseason. Even if I don't manage to raise him, I cannot try again during this offseason. So, what happens when I succeed and my player gains one or more extra stars? How do we fill those empty stars? You just have to take your player card, discard it by placing it on the inactive player's deck and pick the upgraded card. If he's a defender, you will find it in the developed defender's deck. How do we find it in such a big deck of cards? 
Just check the number in the top left corner on the player card we have just discarded to see where in the deck you will find the upgraded player. That is why it's so important to have the developed players unshuffled and in the right order. And that's it for now. See you in the next video. Have a great game.